Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the command su surface which is coming under the surface base feature in the path design Kitty of V5. So su for surface is basically uh, suing a surface to a part body. So let me just start with a part body over here. So let's say um, I have a part body for instance. for the better understanding. So SU surface can uh, you know can result in removal or addition of uh, solid. So in this case the solid is gonna add. So I'm gonna come to the wireframe design and I'm going to make a surface over here. So let's say I have one circle over here create a plane which is uh, uh, let's say the same distance 50 and uh, I'm going to create another one so I'll do multi section for this so I'll do the multi section just uh, select the curves or profiles and give the closing point in the same direction click OK. Here we have the part body as well as the surface. Now let's see how we can do the sous surface. Switch back to the part design, go to the insert surface base feature and sous surface. So they're going to ask you this warning. It's no problem. You can click OK. Select the object to sue which is over here. Select the object and click the direction reverse because this is the direction which you want to give the part. So you're going to give this direction which is inwards and select the faces to remove as this face. Now if you click OK what happens is the the surface has sewed and the solid body has just closed inside the surface. So now if you just hide this you can see the complete solid body being created over here. So this tool is going to be very helpful once you go ahead with your uh, modeling. So now I'm going to show you uh, how the same tool is going to you know, result in removal of uh, material. In this the material was added because as you can see here there was no solid body. So I was going to surface base features, so surface and I was selecting this one in this direction phases to remove so it actually it actually have uh, added the part now let me show you how the same tool is gonna you know uh, result in removal of uh, part so I'm gonna give another sketch which will explain you how it's gonna remove into a padding uh, say 30 each on both sides so now let me just uh, switch back to wireframe design to give a surface so let me give a surface now let's say our surface is like this yeah, I'll come out of the sketch I'll do extrude of uh, 40 each I'll come out of the sketch now let's see how this is going to result in removal of the material. So now let me get back to part design workbench once again and insert surface base feature to surface. And I'm going to select the object to sue and I'm going to give the direction. If I'm going to select this one, the solid body will be over here and this part will be removed. So I'll just select the faces to remove as this and I'll click OK see what has happened is the solid part which was above the surface is completely gone as you can see over here so the inverse happens if I had selected the other way that is select this one I'll select this and uh, the faces to remove is going to be this one and this part is removed so this well explains how you can use 
the sous surface command which is uh, coming under the insert surface base feature sous surface so I hope you follow my video any doubts any clarifications you can uh, comment on my video just below my respective videos so you can um, you know ask me any doubts anything and uh, all the doubts and uh, everything is welcome please make my channel lively thank you